make a 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 I think it's finally time I make a playable game. Four months ago, I set out to do something that at one point I had thought was impossible for me. I wanted to learn game development in Unity. And if you don't believe me, go back and watch my first video from August 11th, 2022, and do a try not to laugh challenge at my first day of game development. Since that day though, I have learned so much by creating as many Unity projects as I could possibly think of. I took the approach of so much quantity instead of quality. The idea is I exposed myself to as much experience as possible in the shortest amount of time. And it has all led to this. Four months ago when I posted my first video, I had zero subscribers and I had no idea what would happen. But a few days later, I got my first comment from a man named Dominic. Dominic commented, make A. And to this day, Dominic has never commented again. And I know it's because he is so disappointed with me. Dominic is waiting for me to make A. Today, Dominic, I am delivering a game that you can play. That's right, I took the zombie survival simulation that I made in the last video and I turned it into a wave-based survival game that you can play for free today. And if you didn't already notice, this is a brand new channel with only four videos, so if you're interested, please hit subscribe, the bell, and let's see how fast the channel with 87 legends. So, actually, while editing this video, we hit 100 subscribers. So I I guess now the, the goal is 200. And let's see how fast a channel with 100 legends can hit 200 in 2022. I started by creating the player character. Because I'm building this game off of my last project, a lot of the movement had already been done. I began by giving the player a gun. And by that I mean a, a white tube looking thing. I gave it a lot more detail so it's much nicer to look at and I moved on to the bullets. I know you can make an FPS without creating actual bullet objects, but I really wanted these to be visible objects affected by physics. I created this system by spawning bullets at the gun tip on an interval and I made them move by applying thrust forces which make them act like a bullet. Now of course because it's me developing this game everything worked perfectly. Once I got it working, I simply had to make the zombies take damage from the bullets collider. Now the game was already shaping up, and I gave the player the ability to sprint, which of course meant I had to add stamina to the game. The stamina drains on sprint and jump, so just make sure you don't let it get too low. I started building the new arena, and I promise you this map is going to go through so many revisions that you'll see changing more in the background. After I added health to the player, the game was really coming together, and I was already having so much fun playtesting everything. At this point, I tried adding more interesting obstacles to the map, so it's not just one large flat platform. And then at this point, I dove into something I'd never done before. I decided to give the player animations for the different movements that are available. This meant an idle, walk, sprint, and jump. It took so long to figure out the animation web and setting the right conditions for each animation, but I cannot tell you how much this improved the feel of moving around in the world. I made it so you cannot shoot if you're sprinting, and it just tied the animations together so well. My brother begged me to add walls to the arena, so the map went through yet another change, and I fixed the zombie spawns to be inside of the little blue boxes. I added in the wave system and spent so much time optimizing the zombie spawn rates. In fact, if you can believe this, I accidentally matched the spawn rates of all of duty zombies up to 50 waves out with only a difference of six. If there's any reason this video took so long to come out, it's because I spent half the time playing and testing every mechanic a hundred times. As the waves got bigger and bigger, I needed a better way to destroy a whole horde at a time. I modeled a bomb for the player to throw at the zombies. I used a particle effect for the fuse, and when the timer runs out, it spawns in a large invisible sphere that does damage to anything around it. Seriously, don't be too close to this thing. I gave the player three bombs to start, and you can refill these any time in one of the blue spawn boxes. This meant I needed to to add a basic store system. The player now gets 25 points for every zombie kill. Along with the purchase of more bombs, I added in upgrades to the player's speed, fire rate, and stamina. And now you can get pretty OP as the game goes along. This of course meant so much more playtesting. The movement speed upgrade had to be nerfed quite a bit or the zombies were just never going to catch you again. I then decided I wanted to add new zombie drops. Inspired by Call of Duty, I built a kaboom and a double points pickup to go along with the max health drop that was already in the game. And after that, all I had to do was add audio for everything that made a sound. You may or may not hear my wife's voice featured somewhere in this game. Nice.
Brains. There's so many things that I could have improved in this game and maybe if enough of you play it and want me to update it I will but for now I'm just really excited to get these 87 people who have supported me something that they can actually play But be warned I made this game hard on purpose Also, if you find a bug it's intentional I put it there on purpose to make the game harder and now I have a challenge for all of you in the about section of my channel There's an email address and I want you to try recording your gameplay And if you get past wave 20 of this game send me the video I'm gonna upload the footage as as an unlisted video on my channel and I'm gonna link as many videos as YouTube will allow me below I really hope you have as much fun playing the game as I did making it but without any farther ado here is some gameplay welcome to the start of my career as a twitch streamer so when you guys hit the link below you'll be on my itch.io page you just have to select download unzip this file and click arena.exe you'll be presented with this message just saying are you sure you want to do this there's a lot of bugs there's a lot of viruses in here that are going to steal your money you're just going to say yes extract all uh put it wherever you want to put it you'll open up the nine and select the arena.exe now at this point your firewall is going to come up and it's going to once again say are you sure you want to do this this thing is filled with bugs filled with viruses that are going to steal your money hit that more info publisher is unknown that's just because i had to hide my identity so i can't be tra traced you're going to hit run anyway and boom it's that it's really that easy the nine press space to start all right he's spawning on top of this tower because i didn't have any better ideas gosh it's so freaky hearing them sneak up behind me going pretty good all right 250 points we can already get our first upgrade here's that stamina i was telling you about just come in here 20 percent more baby all right, wave five, guys, I'm giving you a hint here. If you want to survive very long, you have got to get a speed upgrade before wave six. Okay, don't ask me why. 500 points, 500. All right, so I'm going to grab this first speed upgrade right here. Let's go. All right, so faster movement speed, faster sprint. All right, wave six. Oh, okay. <laughs> Significantly faster coming up on me. Sheesh, 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 sheesh. Let's just try to use a bomb here. Ready? Oh! I hit myself too. Oh no, I need to max health really bad. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 I can't die this quick. That would be so embarrassing. Okay, I got 500. I'm gonna grab the- I'm gonna grab another stam upgrade. Okay. Oh, double points. I need that. I need this real bad. Double points. Okay, hit him with that bomb. Woo! I just barely got out of that one. Like, actually, that was really, really close. I almost killed myself. Okay, I have 700. I need the, uh, I need faster fire rate. Fire rate, here we go. Faster fire rate. Oh, kaboom, kaboom. I don't want to use this yet. Come on, die. What the heck? Okay, okay. Wave nine. Kaboom. And already on wave 10. Okay, I don't know if that was a good idea, actually, though. <laughs> crap, 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 crap. I need of max health so bad. Oh, it's a kaboom. I'm getting a lot of kabooms. Let's go. Oh, I'm stuck on a body. Oh my gosh. Okay, 1600. I can get the next speed upgrade. Guys, I'm telling you, you got to get at least two speed upgrades before wave 12. Okay. Now I'm way faster than him right now. Oh, I need a max health so bad. This is not fair at all. Oh, another kaboom. I had so many kabooms and no... Max health. Who made this game? It sucks. Okay, I just have to kill these and then grab the kaboom and I'll be on wave 13. Hopefully I don't lose that kaboom. Yeah, it's gonna go away. Yep, it's gone. Kaboom's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Didn't get it fast enough. Oh my gosh! I need a max health so bad. Please give me a max health. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, give me max health. Give me max health. Come on, come on. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get another fire rate upgrade. Faster fire rate. Oh my gosh, I'm like two hits away from dying. Give me a max health, please. Please, please, please. Last game I played, I was literally getting so many max healths. It's just bad luck. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, alright. Wave 13. 
Uh, there's no way I'm surviving this. I need max health. So bad. Oh, I've had such low health for the last two rounds. Alright, well, if you can beat wave 13, you already beat me. Thank you.